Hey everybody, what's your favorite holiday? The fact that I'm doing this video on Halloween and you might be watching this on Halloween might mean that your favorite holiday is Halloween. The people in this story, well, their favorite holiday is Halloween. And you know the saying, go big or go home? They go big at home. I mean, it's something we think about all year long in anticipation for when we can put it up, you know, and how soon can we put it up? And I mean, it does take over the garage, so we have to think about that too. When it comes to decorating for Halloween, Heather and Nick Christensen don't miss a trick. It's a lot of hard work, but once we get down to the, the decorating part of it, it's pretty fun. And then to see, see the kids and, and see our own kids, just they love it. The garage door is elaborate, and they even project spooky images in a window and messages on the porch. And that's barely the beginning. go in and, and turn to your right and it's a kind of a monster party and mix everything witches and, and skeletons and there's a bride and groom. From there, it goes to Jack Skellington, and he's he's working on his experiments for trying to figure out Christmas. And from there, it goes to kind of a Pirates of the Caribbean theme. And the rest of it, I'll keep a secret, because it's a little scarier from there on out. What's really scary is what goes into making this haunted garage such a spectacular place. It takes about three weeks, but it's, I mean, it's three weeks for the last 15 years of, of putting things together and, and coming up with props and ideas. That it's a, a year long thought process of costumes and how we're gonna do the garage and what new things we're gonna add or pieces we're gonna put in there and what treasure we can find that nobody's seen before to add to it or you know things like that that we just enjoy being able to have. They've always loved Halloween but the holiday took on new meaning with the birth of their daughter in October. So we always were just doing stuff in the garage for her birthday and it just kind of built from there to this this madness. <laughs> They frame temporary rooms in the garage, run electrical, have fog machines, projectors, sounds, even smells. And they both have full-time jobs. Every year I think we're a little bit crazy, but then we start getting it put together and it gets me all excited. Easy to say thousands and thousands of dollars. Oh, very, yeah, very easily to say that, yeah. But, I mean, the good news is you're, you're making bucks doing this, right? <laughs> Not at all, but <laughs> it's fun. It's, it's our hobby, it's our entertainment, so it's worth it. And it's just a gift for the neighbors and the neighborhood, the kids. Yeah, the yeah, adults. yeah. And, and our daughter's 21 now, but when she was younger, that's, that's what we do for a party and the kids loved it and had a great time, so it was worth it. They say if they were ever to charge money, they would just give it to charity. No trick, just their treat. Have you been here before? To change seen... it up though. They changed it up a lot. They that and then they made that blow. Holy cow, I didn't even notice that. Ah. <laughs> I can't see anything. Wow, it's really dark. Uh, what are you boys doing here? <laughs> ah. Tell me what you thought of that. Well, I have to go change my trousers. <laughs> uh, Really? Yeah, yeah. Pretty intense? It is, it's actually really good, yeah. Were you surprised? No, I know Nick, he's a over the top kind of guy. He just does things the right way. He does it because it's his thing, yeah. Yeah. And free cider, can you get better? No, I submit that you cannot. This is awesome. It's a lot of fun. Have you been to one we, of their haunted garages? We have before? never been to 
one of their haunted garages. What did you think before you came here? I, I thought it would be just walking into a garage and seeing a few skeletons. I had no idea it would be so elaborate. Was that scary for you at all? The electric chair was not scary? What about that horn? Yeah. <laughs> the horn was a little creepy. What made that scary? Mm, when it just hung. Because it was... It was dark and then all of a sudden the light shined on you and it startled you? Yeah. And then eventually someday I would love to have a haunted house. That would be my dream job is to have my own haunted house. Until then, if that ever happens, they're thrilled that it's not a business. So all of it can just be about spooky fun. This is our baby, so everything that we invest in it is, is our craziness. Beats Christmas for you. Oh yeah, our kids have con uh, contemplated exchanging gifts at Halloween just because we love it so much. <laughs> I love how passionate they are about Halloween. And it's my opinion that everybody geeks out about something in their lives. It might be books, it might be sports, it might be cosplay, whatever. It's just whatever you're passionate about. For me, I'm passionate about telling these stories and I'm passionate about my Dallas Cowboys. So feel free to leave your comments about the Cowboys, love them or hate them. It doesn't matter to me, I love them. And if you love this story, please share it like, subscribe, let's get 100 bazillion likes and views on this video because that's what keeps me going. I love telling these stories. Thanks for tripping with Todd on Halloween. Ooh.